All right, it is six o'clock, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. I'm gonna respect you guys' time. Um, my name is Mickey Curtis. I am the Dean of Secondary Programs here at uh, UAHT. Um, I am one of the uh, ones that started the Collegiate Academy several years ago um, on the Hope campus and then opened up one here on the Texarkana campus. So we're real excited to be able to have this partnership with the Texarkana Arkansas School District. Um, I also have Ms. Huff out here. She is our director of the Collegiate Academy here on the Texarkana campus. Um, she will be the one who works uh, with the students on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, I am over here on the Texarkana campus off and on because I've got uh, four different programs I have between the Cruise Center and the Collegiate Academy. And um, so she does a great job with the students and helping them uh, in day-to-day -day activities and making sure they're prepared. So um, I'm going to go through a little bit about what the Collegiate Academy is, open up any questions that you guys might have. Um, and then I've got uh, Ms. Sarah back here. She's going to uh, do a student testimonial, kind of give you uh, insight from uh, a student's perspective. Because, um, you know, I can tell you about it, but it helps to have a student to be able to give you some idea of what it's like. And I do um, suggest to you all to speak to other parents of students who have gone through the Collegiate Academy and graduated or current parents and students of the Collegiate Academy. So you'll know um, exactly what it's like to be a part of this program. So here at the Collegiate Academy, our mission is to provide students with a three-year curriculum that allows them the opportunity to complete a high school diploma and an associate degree simultaneously. So the students apply in the ninth grade, they start in the 10th grade, that's that three-year curriculum, 10th through 12th grade. Um, the students are working on their high school diploma and they are working on an Associate of Arts general education transfer option. So what that means is that Associate of Arts, the courses that they're taking are courses that are guaranteed to transfer to any uh, public university in the state of Arkansas. Um, they are considered ACTS courses. So the students are mainly working on their basic core classes, the first two year, the first two years of courses. Um, and those courses also take the place of their high school credit. Um, our number one priority with our students is their high school graduation, that's number one, and then the Associate of Arts is a bonus to that high school diploma. So a little bit about the Collegiate Academy, um, I explained some of this uh, previously, but it is located here on the Texarkana campus. It is a public school. It is a school within a school. We are a part of Arkansas High School. Um, but we do have students who participate in other extracurricular activities on the high school campus, and it is free of charge. So your students are getting two years of uh, college hours, 60 credit hours, absolutely free, paid for by the school district, which is phenomenal. I tell everybody, I wish that was something that was offered for me when I was in high school. It would have helped out a lot with my schooling that I'm still paying for. Um, but the students are not only getting a head start, but they're getting something that is uh, free for them as well. So what can the students expect? Um, they're gonna have a customized high school experience with the rigor of college. So our classes are set up like college courses, even in the 10th grade. Um, we consider our 10th grade year to be like a boot camp year, that's what we call it. Um, it is that year where we prepare them for total immersion on the college campus, which is that 11th and 12th grade year. Um, 10th grade year, there are still high school courses students have to complete, that's gonna be your English, um, a math, whether it's geometry or algebra two, depending on what track you're in, um, biology, and then we'll fill in other college courses um, in there as well. But those three high school courses are taught by our college instructors. Um, they teach those classes as if it was a college course, the rigor of college, so that it helps with that transition to that 11th and 12th grade year. Um, the students have a chance to earn that college degree and high school diploma. Um, we help students get accustomed to college level standards and the soft skills that are needed to assist them with being a full-time college student. Um, those study skills, um, being their own advocate, um, being able to manage their time. Um, so those are things that we help prepare them for in that 11th and 12th grade year, which is also going to help boost them as they transfer to a four-year university if that's something they wish to do. 
Um, the students, depending on their schedule, can participate in some extracurricular um, activities on the high school campus. We have a lot of our students who do participate in those, whether it's a band or athletics. So they'll go to the high school for those periods and then they'll come to us and take their classes. And so the school does transport them back and forth for those activities. And then finally, transportation and food is provided by the district. The district also brings food over for the students to have lunch on our campus. Um, the transportation is provided. They provide Chromebooks, they provide calculators, anything that they provide for, their, for students on the high school campus, they'll provide for the students out here as well. And the tiers of acceptance, um, everybody has a brochure. If you don't have one, we can get you one up here at the end. Um, but in the brochure, it has the tiers of acceptance as well. Um, and I have them up here. So the tiers of acceptance, we the application is currently open. You can find the applications online. Um, I'm going to give Ms. Huff some paper copies, and you can also get paper copies from Ms. Wright or Ms. Jones on the Arkansas High Campus. And um, you can fill out that application. They'll pick it back up, get it to me, and we'll get it uh, put online as well. But there are tiers to the acceptance uh, into the Collegiate Academy. Ultimately, all students have to have an ACT of 16 or an Accuplacer equivalent in reading, uh, writing, English, and math um, to be considered for the Collegiate Academy to be accepted. That's that tier three. Um, and then tier one is if a student is fully qualified. So the reason behind the test scores is for a student to take college level courses, the state laws, they have to have that ACT of 19. And so that 19 is required for 11th grade. Now, what I can tell you is our students that uh, come to us with an ACT of 16, their 10th grade year with our uh, teachers and our uh, program, we're able to lift them from that 16 to that 19. We have never had to transition a student back to the high school because they were not able to get the scores needed to continue in the program. So we were able to notice and a lot of this data started with the Hope Collegiate Academy because that was our first year there. So we were able to see with the test scores that we set that the students were able to handle the rigor, they were able to handle the homework, the content, and then they were able to make that jump from a 16 to a 19 by their junior year. Now some students might already have that 19, so ultimately what you're going to see is a higher boost um, in ACT scores, which we have seen that with our students um, as they go on to the 12th grade year um, taking their ACT. So the, uh, the application is open. Um, it is open until May 1st, and then test scores are due uh, by June 1st. And so the application, as I said, it can be found online. So I wanted to give you guys an idea of a um, sample schedule. Now this is a sample schedule. This is not the set schedule. This is just for me to kind of show um, what the way it's set up kind of like a college schedule. So your English course will meet like a college course, a Monday, Wednesday, Friday. It's not going to meet Monday through Friday. The times are going to be set up like um, college course times. That's the same with your Algebra 2. Um, you do see that there are some courses in yellow. Those are college level courses that students will take in the 10th grade. Um, intro to Computers, College Life Skills. There are some students who have had some of the high school courses that are required by the 10th grade, and we place them in college level courses if they have the scores. Um, I have had some 10th graders in this previous class who went ahead and took college algebra. They went ahead, or not college algebra, but art appreciation, principles of speech, um, and so psychology. There were other classes that we were able to fit into their schedule if they had the scores and had openings. Um, the band and the study halls and the athletics, those don't necessarily match up with your schedule. As I stated, this is just a sample schedule. So we are working with the district. I know Ms. Hickerson is working on the schedule. We're working to see how we can fit that in and make sure that we can fit in as much extracurricular activities as we can with um, the Collegiate Academy schedule. A sample 11th and 12th grade schedule, this is more accurate for you guys on what it will look like. So we do uh, try to split the group up so that students are taking classes with some traditional college students. 
and we feel that that really helps our students to be prepared for that transition when they transition to a four-year university and they're around students of different backgrounds um, and they're around people they necessarily don't know and so they will take them with traditional college students um, the 11th grade year is a full load. Students are going to be taking around 15 college credit hours each semester. Um, and it could be down to 12 college credit hours. Just depends on if they picked up some in the 10th grade. Um, but they will be working on those core classes. Um, the perk to the 11th and 12th grade year is students are done a lot sooner on our campus. Um, we do treat them as traditional college students, so they do come and go. Um, when they have class, one thing we have is a safety measure in our wing of the Collegiate Academy is a sign-in, sign-out attendance scanner. So students are given an ID and when they arrive on campus, they sign in with that and they sign out when they leave campus. So that way we know that they did arrive or, and what time they left. Um, but they are um, taking a full college level load. They'll take uh, 15 hours in the fall and then they'll take 15 more hours in the spring. Um, that 12th grade year is gonna be a little different. The students are not taking as many hours uh, during that 12th grade year, but we do open up for more electives for the students. So by the 12th grade year, I meet with the students and discuss um, their future plans, we look at degree plans, we figure out what their interests are. And by the 12th grade year, students have kind of narrowed down to the universities they're interested in, um, possible degrees, and so I will pull those degree plans and we will look at classes specific towards that degree that we can place them in on our campus that 12th grade year. So I have a lot of students going into like nursing and medical type programs. Um, I have a bunch of seniors this year going into engineering, so we look at classes, more math and science background. Um, a senior on the Texarkana campus this year, he is going into business, so we've looked at more business-related courses for him. So I do meet with them to figure out electives that um, would be something they could do um, for that future degree plan when they transition. One thing I want to point out is how cost effective the Collegiate Academy is. Um, as I stated, the Collegiate Academy is absolutely free for your students. Um, for students who uh, wait and go to college afterwards, um, what you're looking at, the average <coughs> per year cost of an Arkansas four-year university is $8,929. And then the average cost of an Arkansas two-year university is $3,985. So if you look at those amounts, that's how much your students are saving by attending the Collegiate Academy, whether they were to go straight to a four-year university or if they were to go to a two-year university. Just to clarify, yes. that's per, per semester, per year? That is per year cost. Per year. Yes, that is not room and board. Yes, yeah. Next, I want to talk about the Arkansas Transfer Achievement Scholarship. Um, this is something we're really proud of. Um, the University of Arkansas, the flagship of Arkansas, um, developed this scholarship because of the Collegiate Academy. Um, they also opened it up for other uh, concurrent students as well. Um, but our previous chancellor, who now is a vice president of the U of A system, and who is still very much connected to the Collegiate Academy, um, they were in full support. Dr. Bobbitt has come and visited the campus and visited with students. But they developed this Transfer Achievement Scholarship to provide an opportunity for Collegiate Academy students and other concurrent students to be able to transfer to the University of Arkansas and pay our tuition rate. And so um, our tuition rate is $69 per credit hour. Fayetteville's is $256 per credit hour. So a student who decides they want to go to Fayetteville is saving a huge chunk in uh, tuition rate by attending the Collegiate Academy and getting that associate's degree. So for instance, 30 credit hours is what most students have to keep for financial aid. They have to take 15 hours each semester. So 30 credit hours in a year would cost um, at UAHT with our tuition rate at Fayetteville would cost $2,070 instead of $7,680. 
So you're looking at a pretty good chunk taken out of the tuition and fees by um, finishing your associate's degree. So Fayetteville is the only school that offers that transfer scholarship to students because they are still considered incoming freshmen because they received their college hours while in high school. Um, but there's still perks for students who want to go to other universities as well. Um, they aren't going to get transfer scholarships, but they can uh, take more money out on our Arkansas Academic Challenge Scholarship due to hours. So instead of taking the freshman level amount, which is $1,000, they could take the junior level amount at $4,000. So there's ways that those who go to other universities can still um, receive good funding and scholarships. Um, so we have, we have a large majority, there was a large majority last year of Texarkana collegiate students who did transfer to the University of Arkansas and um, they are doing just fine. I mean, they are very successful. Um, they are, they were very well prepared and they'll tell you that with their transition and um, being on the campus. Um, I had a large chunk from the Hope Collegiate Academy attend up there as well and they are very successful um, as well. But I've also had a bunch of them go to other universities. Um, so I know U of A is not for everybody, but um, it is a great opportunity if Fayetteville is something you are interested in. So how is the Collegiate Academy different? You know, a lot of times I'll get asked, how is it different than concurrent credit? Um, and, you know, there are a lot of differences because in the Collegiate Academy, you are a full-time college student with us while being a full-time high school student at Arkansas High. And um, so you have a lot of college resources that you can take advantage of because you're on our campus. Any of our student services that we provide, you're gonna be able to have access to that. Um, we help with your transfer. We have advisors with that. I specifically help with the students with that. Um, we have a trio of profound. We have tutoring services. When it comes time to transition and financial aid, we will assist with that. So we wanna make sure your transition to wherever you go is as smooth and easy as possible. Um, the 10th grade year, I've talked about this already, but as I stated, that's our boot camp year. We set the class up like college courses. Um, the students are taught how to navigate a college campus. A lot of times students who transition after high school to college campuses, the struggle they have is, first off, the expectations on a college campus, learning how to navigate a college campus, and the freedom that comes with college campuses and they're not used to that. Well, students who are a part of the Collegiate Academy are receiving those freedoms with a safety net. So we're there to catch them if something, if they, we see they're not using their time wisely, where when you go straight from high school to college, you're not gonna have that. I mean, it's up to you as a student to be able to handle that. So we're helping with that transition and getting used to college environment. So when you do go, you're prepared for that. Um, and as I stated, all of our students who have gone to uh, transition to four-year universities, whether on the Hope or Texarkana campus, are still in college. They still have their scholarships and they are still um, being successful in those courses. And then another way that the Collegiate Academy is different, not only that 10th grade year, because we are firm believers in that 10th grade year and what it does for our students, but that full immersion on the college campus. Um, students being able to uh, take classes with traditional students and uh, being on our campus as full-time students. I talked about the application information a little bit, which it's in this brochure, but the applications can be found on our website. Um, as I stated, we can get you paper copies as well if you would like those. The applications are due Monday, May 2nd, and then the Accuplacer scores are due Wednesday, June 1st. And students can schedule their Accuplacer test with Mrs. Jones, who is the career coach at Arkansas High. And then I wanted to put this up here before Ms. Sarah Beth comes up here. Um, my, our contact information, if you have any questions, um, you can contact me. There's my email and my phone number. You can also find that in this brochure. Um, Ms. Huff can answer questions as well, and she can also send those to me and give you my contact information. And Ms. Black is my assistant. Um, she's on the Hope campus, but she's also able to assist in any way uh, possible. But I'm going to have Ms. Sarah Beth come up and kind of give you guys an idea of what it's like 
from a student perspective, and then we'll open up for any questions that you might have. Guys, how are you all? Okay, I'm just gonna be honest right now. I'm like really nervous. So, okay. So, hi, my name is Sarah McWheeler. I am a sophomore and a first year student of the Collegiate Academy. I'm also a high school drill team member. I'm here to talk about the student impact of the program from a student's point of view. I want to start by saying this program is challenging, but with challenge comes rewards. This is the most rewarding program that Arkansas High has to offer. Not only are you taking your first steps into adulthood, but you have people to guide you through these experiences. Just a year ago, I was sitting right where you were, with the same ambitions, ready to start a new world and better myself. Sitting there, I was excited to go to a fancy building and brag to all my friends that I was in this fancy college program, but little did I know there was so much more to it. I had to make tough, to, or, excuse me, I had to make tough decisions based on what I thought was right. During this time, I didn't, have, I didn't know anybody in the program. So did I leave all my friends behind at the high school, or did I come start a new life at the college? So now I'm in the college, I'm in the program. I realize I didn't know anyone and no one knew me. Yes, we've been classmates, but I have a few hundred kids in my graduating class. We came from different backgrounds, different clubs, and different cliques. We were all nervous, but we came together because of our ambition, our need to learn, and we were all there for the same reason, to further our education. We are sitting, or you are sitting where a friendship was born. You are sitting where a future was formed. We came into this program as strangers, but now we're a family. Now I know you've heard all of your, ed all of your education, that you're not going to give it away with this in college, or your college professor is not going to like that, but that's not true at all. These professors and staff have been the best and sweetest people I've ever met in my life. These are the best role models to look up to. Ms. Regina Huff is my best friend. She is my first class math teacher and the director of the collegiate, or collegiate for the campus. Oh my gosh, picture pen at campus. She is an amazing teacher and a per in person. She was the first person to welcome me into the program and make a real and true connection with me in my life. I want you to know that these staff truly care about you. During COVID times, they gave us COVID relief checks to help us with our tuition, which we didn't need, so we got to put in our own bank accounts. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't want to, I don't want to scare you when I say this program is challenging. You cannot fall behind. If you ever need help, don't ever be afraid to ask. These teachers care the most about you and how successful you are. This program is about pulling the best of the best students that you consider yourself to be in this program. From the security guards that's telling you good morning every day, to the teachers that pay attention and take the time to know your name and create a bond with you, to the custodians that always tell you how beautiful a day it is and calls you a friend, this is the Collegiate Academy. That was when I, I could have just let her do all the talking, uh, sum it up, because that is the perfect way to end it. Um, she summed up the Collegiate Academy the best way I could think of. We're here at UAHT. Our number one goal is helping our students and put, placing our students first. And so when your students become a part of the Collegiate Academy, they are not only Arkansas High students, which I know they place their students first, but you become our students. And so we're gonna make sure that we provide you with everything that you're gonna need to be successful. Um, and you know, she gave a good example of the relationship with Ms. Huff. I mean, you, you're gonna have Ms. Huff here to be able to help your students as well, Monday through Friday. And then um, I'm here as well to assist on some of those days. And so um, I'm gonna open it up for any questions that you might have, but Sarah Beth, thank you again for speaking for us. She was more than willing to come and uh, give feedback on the Collegiate Academy, and we appreciate that.